This is Joe Piazza, and you're watching The Creative Corner. You know, we're here, we're happy to have you. Famous Joe Piazza with Season North America in the house. How's everyone doing? We're doing thank great, you man. so much, FS. Absolutely, no, thank you for joining us, man. I know you're a busy guy. Appreciate you taking the time out. Spend a little time with us in the creative corner. Could you give us a little brief formal introduction? Just brief, though. I am Joe. I work at Caesar North America. I kind of do the overall kind of educational side for Caesar for the social media purposes, for video. That's mainly what I've been doing the past eight years, no, almost nine years here at Caesar. Fantastic. I kind of also partake, again, pretty heavily with social media purposes presence, making sure that customers' questions get answered. But back in the day before pandemic, I was on the road quite a bit. I'd run and see your pretty face quite often. Since 2020, it's kind of been stuck in the office, but really just trying to do educational video stuff. You guys have probably one of the more active Facebook group communities out there. Yeah, I think it's very crucial, especially for those that are watching that really don't know what Caesar. We're a manufacturer of heat transfer vinyl. We don't sell direct to any users as customers and we work through obviously like distributor chains like all american print supply here it is a good way for us as a manufacturer to get end user perspectives so that's really what helps me especially for what i do on the educational side to make sure that we talk about things that you may run into or you're concerned or might be apprehensive with the caesar products uh, this way we can kind of come to you as a manufacturer to hopefully answer your questions and quell any of that concern. Absolutely, that's what it's all about. Education first, 100%. Can you share a little bit perhaps maybe what you were doing before you got into the business? December 18th, my 16 year anniversary in this business. I would say before that, I was literally in high school. I feel my entire adult life thus far has been in this industry. Before getting into this, what kind of got me excited about it was actually high school. It was a graphic arts class I had. We got to do all sorts of different decorating things from screen printing to offset printing to card making to vinyl cutting. And it kind of encompassed everything in a smaller scale in this industry. So it kind of got me excited because at that moment in my life, the concern my life about was music. I'm a musician and that was the only focus I had. So when I knew I could kind of correlate that with garment decoration and how bands need band t-shirts and stuff like that and merch and whatnot, I was like, well, this is definitely a way to implement the creative side, the performance end of it as well. So that was kind of what I was leading up in, in to get into this industry. I wouldn't expect anything less. You're a pro. That was a wonderful transition. How did you get your start working with Caesar North America? I worked for another company for about eight years before I started. I just kind of stumbled on a great opportunity. One of our, my colleagues here actually knew me from the previous job and uh, kind of slid in the DMs actually to let me know about this position that was opening up at Caesar. I was a graphic artist at the previous job. And I obviously was familiar with heat transfer vinyl, so he thought that this would be a great opportunity for me. And so I kind of uh, stumbled into it and I was here. And I remember talking to my boss in the interview too, and he had this very antiquated way of business mindset at the time was really like, I don't believe in social media. I don't think that uh, it's really gonna do much. He's like, I think business is done with a handshake. And it's like, you know, it's not necessarily wrong, but my 25 year old mind at the time was like, social media is the wave. I was able to come in and prove my worth. And I hope that was kind of how it started. No, that's great, man. I know you have a little bit of an acting background. Acting and garment decorating are kind of two different worlds. Can you explain a little bit perhaps how those can sort of overlap? This world, how many influences are there out there? When I started with Caesar, there weren't really many educators doing stuff in front of the camera. YouTube wasn't utilized the way it is today for those kind of education, either with social media. I was able to fortunately get the opportunity to start a trend in this world. You know, I'm not taking credit for that, but there weren't many people doing it at the time. so. I was offered the opportunity at Caesar to take that on, and I didn't know what I was doing, so I did it. But now to see it fast forward to the current day, I feel like the comfort level for people uh, performance-wise and people that are like, I don't act or I don't, everybody does. Everybody's got it in them to be able to get in front of the camera and perform 
for literally the lens. But the garment decoration world, how it correlates is really whether they're doing it for their personal business, for marketing purposes, whether they're utilizing it for educational purposes. You kind of choose the road you want to utilize. No, I 100% agree. I think you definitely deserve a bit of the credit for that. I know you're being uh, very humble here with us, but thank you. the transition from musicianship and what you learned as far as firsthand printing education at the high school level, what would you say after that really transitioned you to kind of dive headfirst into garment decorating? This is how I represent Present even heat transfer as a whole. It's all about personalization as an artist through acting and, and music making and all the creative side there. Anybody that has any kind of talent, you always want to feel like mine's different than everybody else. Everything you do in this industry is different and unique to you or your customer. This kind of allowed that freedom and expression and vulnerability, which is all stuff that really correlates with me with the other side of my life with those entertainment sides it's like being able to show that expression and stand out and kind of break away from the, the crowd in a way spoken like a true artist no i love it man let's roll up to present day caesar had a pretty busy year i would say i want to talk to you a little bit about the big trip to italy this year and the big announcement we had so much happen all year long which inevitably led up to our giant announcement, which is this beautiful machine I have, but Caesar has now launched Cutters. Our products are actually made over in Italy. So we thought this would be a prime time to get over there and do our official launch as all of our Caesar communities got together for our Romeo and Juliet. So the Romeo is the 24 inch vinyl cutter here. And then the Juliet is our 12 inch vinyl cutter. I think we kind of got the wheels spinning with people's excitement for sure. No, absolutely. I mean, this is probably one of the nicest vinyl cutters. We're going to do a sound test, a little sneak preview, how quiet of a stepper motor this machine is. Other 12 inch cutters on the market, but we know the sounds and the headaches and stuff that kind of came with. If you have that comparison to our 12 inch cutter, the Juliet, it is still a stepper motor as mentioned. Obviously the speed, the, the depth in which it cuts, um, our presets on it, our software that we're constantly developing. But the software is called Leonardo Design Studio, which comes with the cutter. So all sorts of new stuff for sure. No, fantastic. We've been having a blast with it. And not just exactly with the garments. I remember when Caesar North America debuted the Easy PSV. I do want to talk to you a little bit about maybe aside from garments, possibly other applications. Uh, I'm talking about decals. What's your point of view on something like the decal market? Yes, we have had our line of Easy PSV. Easy PSV is pressure sensitive vinyl. Now we we have other lines of the Easy PSV in that side of our business. It's called Easy PSV Starling by Avery Dennison. This product is dishwasher safe in our crafter world is unheard of. So to go to your point, decals low cost high margin. It's extremely inexpensive, the product itself, because that's why a lot of smaller businesses started with only decal vinyl. Heat transfer vinyl is a little bit more costly in comparison. When you do decal vinyl and you have a lot higher margin, it's a large gamut of different colors in it, all layerable, it's permanent. You have a matte or glossy finish. So many options for it. A glitter option, we have a holographic option, we have a glow in the dark option, we have an etched glass option. There's so much more that you could do with the Easy PSV. I wouldn't say there's even really a limit. Uh, what are your thoughts on that perhaps maybe like marketing strategy wise or how do you feel about the passive kind of income or diversification of revenue, something like this could open up really for anybody. In the world of vinyl, your startup cost is so low in comparison. I mean, Esteban can really give you a breakdown, right? I mean, you work for it, has a wider range of different great machinery and customization that you can do, but your costs are all gonna fluctuate, right? In the world of heat transfer vinyl, decal vinyl, I'm just gonna give you just a ballpark startup cost. Let's say if you go high end with a cutter like this, you go high end with a good heat press you may have a startup with like twelve to fifteen hundred dollars that's it twelve to fifteen hundred dollars and now you have yourself a small business a small opportunity to start doing customization make things that are unique for them because they're gonna pay for that because nobody else is gonna have that same thing if you're into just making a bunch of marketing stuff or the trinket things 
that's cool. But like you do customization, utilize both worlds. Now, if you have a t-shirt on that has a design of your company, the decal world, you can offer having something else like a mug or a Yeti or something to go with that same decoration you did. So now you have two sources of making some income on decorating those types of substrates to the garment world and mixing the two together. No, that's awesome. And, you know, kind of dive in a little bit more on the profit margins. What do you say is current pricing right now, the 150 yards? What's that going for for the PSV? The Starling permanent decal vinyl would be about $90. So we're looking at, if you get the larger roll, about 60 cents for a 12 by 12 sheet. How many transfers do you think you can make out of something like that? So say you're doing like maybe a bumper sticker type size dimension on a 12 by 12 sheet, you might get three to four of those designs done. But if you have the artwork already provided, that's already done for you. So all it is is cutting and then weeding and masking and giving it to the customer for their application. So I mean, all in all, the other side to factor in is how much time are you spending on all? Again, a 60 cent sheet of 12 by 12, you spend maybe 15 minutes and then you can turn around and sell it for eight bucks for the whole sheet. I mean, you make decent margin off of that. No, absolutely. I've seen price ranges for one color decals going for like 12 bucks a pair. So you make your four transfers, you sell a sheet worth of vinyl, basically 24 bucks. By my calculations, that's almost a 4,000% profit margin. You're 100% right. You're doing like larger companies. If you're outsourcing it, they're gonna want thousands of them, $12 or $24 for that. So you're also just catering to them. Absolutely. About marketing wise, what would you advise maybe someone looking to get started maybe in the decal kind of range? If you're going into these platforms, and not expecting to spend some money sponsoring stuff, it may be a little bit of a longer time to kind of get the grip on it. So my suggestion is start local. I have a little bit of a side thing I do at my house. It all started by basically making a couple different t-shirts for my buddy's karate studio. And then the parents saw that and then they started asking and then their kids wanted it. And so it inevitably started snowballing locally. Now, if you're trying to grasp on a internationals, then you got to factor in cost of shipping, turnaround, all that stuff at the bottom line. So if you're just starting, my two cents would be to start world. Great start, great advice there, definitely for sure. What are your thoughts maybe on the current state of social media in our industry and its impact? Facebook was always kind of my main focus when I started at Caesar. It has gotten a little bit jumbled. I don't think I'd give up on it, but it's just kind of one that doesn't have the same draw, but we know where the current shifts, but there's still ample opportunity. I'm not saying give up completely. Now, Instagram has plenty of potential. It's, this is a visual market. Our world is all about what does it look like? I want to see it now, instant gratification. And that was kind of where Instagram now allows people to really showcase their business in small, short, Edible Bites is a, a really good utilized platform. TikTok is just an anomaly, man. I don't fully understand it, but I also understand the allure of it. It's working to certain people's advantages, right? Like some people are becoming overnight sensations. Then they get on a great platform. Then all of a sudden their business just goes up. We utilize TikTok, I think, enough it's one of those platforms the way twitter was where it was like you constantly got to feed it but we do realize that going live on there has broadened our horizons to new audiences younger generation is going to be heavily on tiktok there are a lot of opportunities to showcase your business to use that platform to really start building an audience and then you can kind of push it over to a website. There we go. Did you have any thoughts on the YouTube shorts? This kind of more vertical? To me, YouTube is uh, very close to my heart. The first video platform for, for businesses to utilize. For ourselves, it's always been a really consistent, steady, conservative growth. And I think them adding shorts was a great idea. Compete with TikTok to reels on Instagram to having YouTube shorts. We'll either let the person decide, hey, do I want to find out more about this? Then I'll do my deep dive. Again, for businesses, for marketing, I think the shorts are a great opportunity to utilize on YouTube. It's going to be fun. We're excited. I hope you guys are keeping up with ours. I know we're following all of your guys' awesome stuff. Is there anywhere you could leave our audience perhaps where they can find more of your work or connect with you and what you guys do? 
course, everything is Caesar North America. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Caesar North America. And then of course our website is all educational too. S-I-S-E-R-N-A dot com. All right, hey Joe, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to join us here in the Creative Corner. My name is Esteban, we're All America Print Supply. I'm honored to be on camera with Esteban and the whole All-American Print Supply crew. I appreciate all you watching right now. Thank you all so, so much. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with you. It's something I'll always carry with me, so. Thank you so much, man. That means the world. My heart is aching. I appreciate all the time, man. Everything we've gotten to do, the wonderful people we got to educate together with, and all the journeys we got to share. So thank you guys, and I can't wait to see what happens in the future. I want to definitely give you a big thank you for everything, Joe. We'll see you soon.